to Okay. What is happening in France? Last week, the police murdered the young man, Nahil M. And since then, we are seeing violence and we are seeing an uprise in France. I'm here with Thomas from Paris, our comrade from Revolution Permanente. And I'm happy to talk to you today. My name is Marius from Classic in Classe. And yeah, Thomas, I want to ask you, um, what was happening in there? What was the reaction of the government? Macron said that he finds the violence of the police inexplicable, but in reality, we saw violence before. So what is happening in there? So yeah, as you might have seen, uh, a young man of 17 was killed by the police in Nanterre. And as you say, Macron uh, at the time was trying to, you know, uh, to calm people down. So he was like acknowledging that the policeman acted in a way that he shouldn't have, but he he, he said it in a way that it's only the, the, the this one individual who is dysfunctioning and uh, not the whole of policing in France, which is absolutely false because there are several um, things that, that show that this is not an accident, that it's really explicable, actually. Um, First of, of all, there is a, a lot of uh, racism in, in in the police institution in France, uh, and people from from the project, you know, from a, a popular neighborhood like where Nile was living in, um, they are harassed all every day on a daily basis by the police. They have to to they are subjected to identity check, to uh, the the search. Uh, they can be beaten if they talk back or of. So there's a lot this daily violence against youth from those neighborhood. Uh, and the thing is, uh, there's a, this violence that we see in the projects. It's a violence that we can also see in uh, in uh, or colo or in French colonies, really, like in uh, uh, Guadeloupe, but also in, in Mayotte. Uh, there was an, an operation like... Uh, which, which which is still happening and started like uh, two, two, two months ago uh, in the Mayotte. We were trying to to chase like um, uh, migrants from uh, the Comor uh, archipelago, and they, they sent like special forces to 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 destroy houses, uh, you know, to to beat people up, to run people up, and this 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 kind of 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 policing is always like at first they try it on the people from that are uh, of immigrant this that, that come from other country where that descend from other country you know and then afterward it's 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 applied also to the social movement and we saw that with like the yellow vest where uh, where thousands of people were like uh, lost lost an eye uh, lost a hand because of grenades grenades you know. Uh, and so this violence is not um, is not new, uh, is not new, and it's part of uh, the policing in France. You know, um, what I want to say also is, uh, well, you have this. What can I say then? Uh, I need to add. <laughs> uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yes, yeah, this, this violence uh, if, uh, from the police uh, is um, is facilitated by the fact that there is a lot of impunity for police officer, uh, and so it creates a culture inside of the police, a culture where you can shoot at a unarmed young man, and you will not fail the consequence of your of a job you can even be promoted you know uh it's like uh uh the the lawyer of the the police officer who killed Nile m uh in in the defense of his clients he was saying uh in 31 years i never saw a police officer be indicted for shooting somebody for and it was for him for, him, for the lawyer it was like uh, oh dare do you prosecute this police officer and when when we when we hear that we're like in 31 years 
with certain people killed last year in France by the police in the same manner as Nile was. Nobody was ever prosecuted. So you can see that there is this impunity and it that by from a long time, but it was reinforced in 2017 by uh, the Valls government under François Hollande. Macron was part of this government as Minister of Economy. And so they created a law that changed how a police officer can can use his firearm, and not only for self-defense, but if somebody refused to to follow the order, they can, they can fire at him, you know? And so it, it created this, this culture of, yeah, of draw, drawing their weapon and shooting at, at young people with a sense of impunity that explain what happened with, with Nile M. And what we see in, in this case is that the policemen lied about what, what happened. They said that he tried to run them over with the car, so they were trying to protect themselves. And it's only because the video uh, was leaked uh, that uh, we, 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 that people saw that it was just an execution and that they were in no danger. And that's why it became uh, so important in, well, in in the French political consciousness and, and why also at the beginning Macron was trying to, to be like... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for for his family. Uh, it shouldn't have happened. Uh, it's just a one bad police, one bad policeman. Uh, well, but we know that it's not. It's a systemic uh, uh, violence and systemic racism that is as work here. Yeah, we also saw the violence of the police in the last reforms against the pension. So um, maybe you can also show your experience from this. Well, during the during the strike for the pension, there were a lot of yeah of, of police violence. Uh, during the demonstration with tear gas, with police with charge. Uh, also uh, on when when people were like uh, uh, on pickets, you know, blocking uh, the economy, blocking the the the, the, the place they, they work they work in. Uh, the government sent the police to 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 get them away from, from the workplace, to, to force them to go back to work. People that were on strike were assigned by the, by the government, uh, by, by legal means, to go back to work. And if they refuse, the, the police would come and get them at their home. Uh, they would uncuff them and drag them to work in front of their king, you know, like, like they were criminals. And, and so, yes, yeah, there, there was a lot of this violence. And... What is important to see is that the violence that we see uh, during those demonstrations, during the Yellow Vest, for instance, or during the, the pension uh, movement, it's it's a violence that is experimented in, in as I was saying before, but that is experimented in, in the project against uh, racialized people, you know? Uh, uh, for instance, uh, the, when they shoot a flashball with a rubber bullets, uh, it's a thing that they did in 2005 during the riots, and then it became widespread years later during the Yellow Vest movement, especially. Uh, and so, yeah, what we see today and the new mean of repression that we see today, we know that if you don't fight against it now, it's going to to be applied to all of the political struggle in France. And that's why, that's one of the main reasons why we cannot just stay on the line and wait for it to to pass like a lot of leftist organization and union are doing right now. And uh, if we look on these protests, um, why, where, from where does come this anger and the force which, uh, with this explosion right now? And who are the people in the streets? What is the living conditions and what they want? Yeah, I think that uh, what we need to understand is that the the death of Nile was an, a shock, you know, uh, and it, 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 it had a huge impact, but it touched on something deeper than just the um, you know, just, just reacting to the death of a young man. It it was it's also like the people that are rioting, they're rioting because they live in places where was that there is not there's no um, economical opportunities for them uh, they don't have access to public services uh, like other people in France do uh, 
they they I was was saying they have, they are victim of uh, systemic racism, uh, and all of this together is why we are at the boiling point point right now. You know, and and the and we can see that we can see that those those, those, those popular neighborhood they they not treated the same. Uh, they were not treated the same during uh, like the the pandemic. Where there are a lot of uh, uh, police presence and police violence to to keep people uh, parked in their apartments uh, when they live in you know really small apartment and and really like uh, uh, bad apartments, uh, bad housing, you know, uh, old housing that was never renovated or badly, and and so it's and they're doing the same right now. You know, they're forbidding people from. From leaving their houses, uh, they're stopping the bus, they're stopping all means of transportation, and and so these people know that you know, and and, and so I think that's why the, the anger uh, boiled over uh, the, the 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 death of of Nell. It's because of his death, but also because uh, there's a lot of of systematic issues. That are never addressed by the French political class, uh, and as for the protester, uh, most of them, not all of them, most of them are young young people, uh, uh, young people that, um, that have parents that originate from uh, mostly other countries like uh, from um, uh, Africa, from uh, uh, Morocco, Algeria, from. People from all over the, over the world, really, um, and people, young people that know that they don't have as as many economical opportunities as other, and that they are treated as second class citizen. So, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the people that are protesting the most, and but you can also see people that are like older. Uh, and that can join the protests, you know, uh, but it's mostly young people. Okay, then I would like to go a little further uh, about the what is the political left doing and the trade unions. So we are present with our group, Revolution Permanente. Maybe you can explain a little what is our politics in there. Yeah, so uh, Revolution Permanente or... Uh, Revolution uh, permanent, pardon. What we're do, trying to do in in this this movement is uh, we're trying to call for for strike for the worker to to go on strike to support uh, the struggle of the youth against uh, police violence uh, against uh, uh, social social inequalities. Uh, I think that's one of our main. Policies right now, trying to 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 create a, a dynamic to of of strike and not to you know just uh, leave those people alone to struggle alone, wait for it to be over and then try to you know capitalize on it, uh, which is what a lot of I think other leftist organization and the union are unfortunately doing. Um, I think that. Uh, can I say that? I think that most um okay, what what you're doing so there's that there's also um uh, trying to 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 discuss with other organizations and uh for instance with uh, uh the Adama committee, uh which is uh, uh with uh, his sister Asad Rore and other people that are trying to 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 have justice for Adam Traoré, which is a young black male that was killed uh, um, in 2018, I think, uh, that was killed by the strong girl to death by the police, uh, and and they will, they have an important uh, they have a real importance, you know, in in the political struggle in France, and they're supposed to be like a, an annual uh, manifestation. Uh, next Saturday. So what we're trying to do is to convince other political organization and and unions to to call people to go to this and to go there as worker 
uh, you know, and to be and to go there as worker and just individually, but to go there in an organized manner to try to to create links with the youth that is revolting right now and to try to yeah to to, to create a, a a real solidarity and a real convergence of the struggle with and with what we believe is our main weapon which is uh, striking you know so um the trade unions uh, already made some statements but um, some were better, others not so good. Um, maybe you can talk a little about this. Yeah, uh, well, like the two main uh, unions, so uh, La CGT and uh, La CFDT, and the other statements that are almost the same, where they, they condemn the, the death of Nael, But at the same time, uh, they they equate, you know, they for them uh, police violence uh, and the uh, and the brutality of the repression and the violence of uh, the youth that we are seeing is the same, and both should be stopped, which we don't agree with, of course, uh, because. Uh, The, the violence of the police is the violence of the state and against you know dysfunctionalized per person so of course it's not the same uh, and no what we're saying is uh, is that they really they, 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 they call people to uh, what, what can I say that they're trying to to call for for a return to calm to calm you know and to, for the violence to stop and the riots to stop uh, but they don't offer anything you know <laughs> they're just saying okay stop uh, burning stuff stop uh, st stop stop protesting uh, but they didn't even propose that yet you know a, a day of mobilization yet uh, and even if they did with what strategy you know if just to go march one day in the street what's the point you know you need to have at least a proposition and so i think that's why we propose a way to to, to be a, a strike of solidarity you know on the other side there is the network for a general strike mm -hmm. which found um, themselves during the uh, pension protests and uh, where also revolution permanent has a role in it Maybe you can explain a little what is the uh, strategy and tactics of this network. And for example, there was already the rally um, on last Thursday where the mom of Nahel um, was calling for this rally. And there were all also workers of the railroad. And I think it was energy. Uh, yeah, maybe you can explain a little about this. Okay, uh, so yeah, there was a, a, what you call a white match uh, for for Nile, uh, his mother and everything. And like for instance, um, uh, Anas Kazib, uh, which is one of of a comrade and uh, uh, worker from from the railroads, uh, went there uh, as as we we're saying as worker, uh, you know, and being on strike to to give their support, you know, and. Uh, and I think that's yeah to give their support and to 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 call for other to 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 join this movement you know and uh, join this movement uh, as worker and, and to be on strike um, and I think it's important to just just to go as individual you know and even because. Uh, what happened to Nile, it sh shocked a lot of people and you can be mindful and you can go as a person, it's, that's fine, you know. But I think it's important also to, to go uh, to go uh, collectively and with the strength of, uh, of of being a worker and being a uh, and being able to, to fight this way, you know. Um for, as for the réseau, uh, le réseau de la Grève Générale, um a strategy is uh, to, to to try to to get together with uh, other organization and also saying to call for to for people to go to 
to the big demonstration on Saturday uh, as worker uh, and to try to to write. Uh, um, I don't know how to say that in English. Uh, to to try to create a, um, a collective a collective um, late open letter, you know, as a, and with. Uh, uh, you know, with other organization, with uh, people that are that are acknowledged by the social movements, uh, and to call to for solidarity and to join the demonstration, you know, and I think that's like two of the main uh, things that we are doing right now with uh, with our comrade from the CRGG. And what do the workers think in the workplaces, especially those who were part of the reforms uh, against the pro uh, in the protests against the pension reforms, and especially also those who suffered repression themselves in these protests? Yeah, I think that uh, people, the workers, were not surprised, you know, but what happened because the the. They learned to to know the police during uh, those uh, demonstration. Unfortunately, uh, uh, but I and yeah, they were not surprised at what happened, and they were shocked and appealed. And so there's a lot of support toward uh, toward the family and everything. Uh, the limit might be that uh, there is a big offensive by the government in the media. Uh, by, by the government and by you know the, the bourgeoisie in the media and uh, where they they play you know non-stop video of I don't know car burning or everything and so they try to scare people you know they try to scare people and to say uh, uh, it's dangerous the far right is saying that it's, it's the beginning of the city of a civil war uh, which is not at all but. Uh, they try to scare people, you know, and to to detach uh, the worker from the use of of the popular uh, neighborhood, you know, uh, and yeah, maybe some people like when they see this all day, they can they can like fear for the belonging and and can have an effect, you know, in in for for certain worker. But I think most most worker. To understand what the police is an institution as an institution now, and and so yeah, I think most people are in support of of the the revolts. And uh, what is the mood between uh, or in the youth movement, especially students movement or pupils that were in the protests against the pension reforms themselves? But in the youth, it's I think it's more clear cut where people are in support of uh, of fighting against police violence and police brutality. Uh, the 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 thing is, uh, for no, it hasn't materialized, uh, you know, really because there were no no places to for for those those two those two youth to meet, uh, to meet and and fight together. Um, but I think that's why people are expecting a lot from from the big protests for for Adama and to be a, a place of convergence, you know, uh, between 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 the for the youth and but yeah, they're in support and and they try to to be useful for for the the young that are fighting right now, but. But yeah, maybe the, the connection is not there yet. Mm -hmm. And what do other left organizations do, like La France is a Mies from uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon or La, La Nou Parti Anticapitaliste, NPR? Uh, well, uh, La France is a Mies, uh, the politique is, was at the beginning to say... Uh, uh, we're not calling for appeasement, we're calling for justice, which was better than what the left did in 2005. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, uh, news are trying to be careful not to to appear to support uh, uh, the violence that we see, uh, because it could hurt them electorally. So, 
So, you know, they're trying to, to walk a thin line, uh, which is more opportunistic than, <laughs> than a real political line, you know. Um, I also saw that Mélenchon called for a refunding of the uh, police. Yeah, he called for uh, called for, yeah, for for reformation of the police for them to have uh, better uh, better means to do their job to be well trained and like because they're pretending that the police can be can be fixed, you know, if with just a bit of training and with a better pay, maybe I don't know. Uh, and we we know that it's not it's not possible, you know, the police. Uh, uh is a tool of the state and those last two years it was used this way you know to enforce uh, uh political reform and to enforce uh, uh reforms that were really popular uh so you can expect to change that and the police in france as i was saying is uh profoundly racist uh most of the police officer uh, in france vote for either marie le pen or eric zemmour for instance uh so so yeah you can you cannot like fix the police uh, this way you need to to need to destroy this police you know <laughs> just to to suppress this police but um for Mélenchon is as always he's trying to to look radical but uh but it's only you know as i said and how about the npa uh, I I don't really know what <laughs> don't really know what they're doing. Uh, I I know that the um the NPA I know that the um, the where the reunion where some of comrades went, uh, you know, calling for the, the famous demonstration uh, for Saturday of the next Saturday, and aside from that, I don't really know what what they up to. I know. Um, Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no problem. We we will look for this uh, on other locations. So um, I wanted to go back to maybe a last block of this conversation to classify more the political situation. So um, what do you think? Does this uprise shake the government which was already weakened after the protests against the pension reforms yeah i think that this government is going through what we call a, a regime crisis uh where we see that uh they had to you know to to go over a lot of uh what create political consensus in uh in the in, in a bourgeois democracy, uh, they have to go over parliament. They had they, they had to go against uh, the street, and and so they are in a crisis, you know, crisis of legitimacy. Uh, so that's why they had to rely so much on the police, and why they gave so much power over the year to the police, uh, because it depends on them and the police union also. Uh, and I don't know something that I saw today, and that is for me very significant. Uh, one of the um, police union, they said that uh, if the government doesn't take care of this, we will do it ourselves. Uh, and that's, I think that shows you uh, how weak the government is, because uh, a, a police union is saying something that is almost putschist, you know, almost uh, uh, the, the things are going to take into them, their own hand the The, the violence of the state. So that's, that's the thing that, that show you that on either side of the political ice, um, the government is, is really weakened uh, on its rights because, uh, uh, all, well, the, the people on the right are saying they're... You still hear me? I lost the connection, I guess. Thomas? Uh, 
welcome back. <laughs> okay. okay, so I was talking about uh, the government and do I go I go back from the beginning? So yeah, Macron uh, and his government are really um, weakened by what is happening right now. And I was uh, there's uh, an example of, uh, for instance, uh, a police union, uh, which is called Unsa Police, which is part of uh, like a normal union, which is problematic in itself, but it's not the matter. Uh, and they say that if the government doesn't uh, take care of 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 the issue of uh, 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 doesn't take care of this, we're going to do it ourselves. Oh, it's really buggy. You see me in, like normally? Yeah, I okay. see you normally. Okay, so like it's about like three of you. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so what what we see with that with this uh, example of of an union, say a police union, saying that they're going to do the government job for them, uh, we can see that Macron and uh, his government they weakened the regime so much that there is this idea that that police union can say that they're going to act autonomously. Without order from the political power, uh, which is never a good sign <laughs> for a regime, you know. Uh, and yeah, I think it's, they're, they're losing a lot of legitimacy on the right because they don't, they're not uh, able to handle uh, the pesky, uh, uh, pesky stranger, you know. <laughs> they're not, uh, uh, they're not uh, able to. To maintain the, as as I say, the republican order, uh, and so on the right, yeah, it's losing a lot of, of credibility, and at the same time, it shows that they are not able to 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 address uh, you know the inequalities and and the all of the systemic issue I mentioned earlier. Uh, and they didn't, they're not notable, they didn't uh, ever address them, and now it's coming back to, to eat them, and and of course it makes them look look really bad, you know, and that's why at the beginning, as I was saying, they were trying to 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 be sympathetic with the family, they were trying to to say, okay, it's because of this police officer, and, uh, and when they saw that the riot continued, uh, they change the strategy and now it's uh, re violent repression. Uh, you know, uh, for instance, during at the eighth of uh, the um, the pension movement, there were like uh, uh, a dozen, uh, even eleven thousand, uh, a, a bit more uh, policemen that were uh, mobilized. You know. For, to control the riot, uh, to control the protest, and now it's like uh, more than the forty thousand policemen that are that are deployed, and there were a lot of policemen that are from special units, uh, and this kind of uh, they are deployed to you know to in Paris, in Marseille, in a lot of places, and when the last time we saw those units to be deployed to. To, to do this kind of police work to to to, to maintain order, uh, it was um, it was in in Mayotte, uh, you know, for the Wambushu operation. Uh, it was in, in Guadeloupe, uh, so in colonial area of, of France, and so that we see them used this way uh, in the project. So it shows something about uh, uh, what the government has to to oppose to to those protests, and it's only. Uh, police repression and more police violence. You, know? mm -hmm. you were talking about the extreme right. What do politicians uh, like Le Semua or Marine Le Pen say, uh, or also the Republicans? Yeah, well, what the, the position of the, the far right is 
is is to say that of course the police did nothing wrong. <laughs> Uh, of course, there's nothing wrong. There is no systemic racism in France. There is no uh, uh, those people don't have any reason to to revolt, you know, because they take all the money anyway. So, so, so why do they revolt? You know, they it's, it's and they're calling for for they're calling for for even more police violence. You know, they, some ones of them were we should call the call the army. Uh, so uh, something even more extreme than what Macron is already doing, which is pretty already already uh, really violent. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's mostly the the, pos the, the position of, of the far right. Uh, they had like personal ad uh, attacks against uh, uh, Nael Moser, for instance, saying because she was at the at, at the march. You know, uh, the white, the white march, saying yeah. that uh, she. I, I, I didn't listen against. Oh, uh, the 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 had uh, personal attacks against uh, Nael Moser, saying that no. uh, because she was at the march, uh, she's not mourning. Uh, so not like us, they don't care about their children when they die. So she's not really mourning. Uh, she's just trying to be famous, and you know, like, crazy, really crazy thing, you know. And that were that was that was said by people from the far right, but also a lot of people uh, on the media, uh, because uh, a lot of media in France uh, belongs to to businessmen and people that are close to the far right, and so they use as platform, you know, to to spew their the hate, and and so it's something that is not only marginal, but that you can hear in the mediatic discourse very often, you know. Uh, that we should like they should just shoot the protest the, the the protesters they should just uh, uh, lock uh, lock up everybody up which which they already do even the minister the minister of justice says that they should uh, they should uh, like um, put everyone that is taken should go to jail and that the the process of justice should be changed you know to repunish uh, people so. Uh, there's a lot of similarities between the what the far right and what Macron's government has, are doing and saying. So the difference is more that the far right is more um, cross and extreme with it, but uh, the idea is the same. You need to contain this. You need to 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 crush uh, this revolt, and there is no other alternative. You know. I guess they're also doing a lot of racist. We Defamation against the people living in the uh, popular neighborhoods, uh, also like uh, anti-Muslim racism. Uh, can you um, explain this a little? I didn't hear the beginning of your question. Um, what kind of um, racism does the far right? Yo, and also anti-Muslim racism, for example. Again, because, again, because I have very bad internet connection, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, what kind of racism does the far right show? Also, anti-Muslim racism. Yeah, uh, anti-Muslim racism is one of the main. Uh, uh, it's, well, for them, it's not racism, you know. <laughs> they, they would argue that it's not racism, that Islamophobia is not a real thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, so they, 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 uh, this idea that they, that they sell, that, um, what can I say, um, the, that violence, that is violence, that uh, um, that all the problems that are, that 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 those neighborhood are facing, they are all caused by uh, a, a radical Muslim infiltration, and uh, trying to destroy you know French society, French culture, and and so they use uh, the image of of protesting of violence, you know that we that we saw as example of like a. They say deculturation, so destruction of of culture, uh, of a destruction of civilization. And the thing is, you know, it's it's something that we hear from the far right, 
But a few months back, Macron also talked about uh, the civilization, so the destruction of of the processes of civilization. So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. and and uh, what Macron said is more political, so it's not uh, directly mentioning the Muslim, but everybody knows what he's referring to, and and it's, it's used, you know, to it's used that Muslim people are, are used by the right in general as scapegoats you know uh when something uh, is bad uh, yeah but look uh, look look at look at the muslim look at the muslim population uh, uh they oppress women because they have uh, they, they they have to wear hijab you know uh and, and there's no no sexual violence problem in france the problem is uh muslim women wear hijab you know so it's it's always a game they play and and create something where Muslim uh, feel, I think a lot of Muslim feel uh, like second class citizen in our country uh, because uh, they're constantly suspect of something, you know, they always have to prove that they're not uh, uh, radical Islamists, they always have to prove that they're, that they're normal citizen. And, and it's something that I think we, we also, we also see in a way that we see a lot uh, right now. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe um, before you already mentioned the uprises in 2005, also in the uh, banlieues of Paris and other cities, maybe you can explain a little the differences and the similarities to what is happening right now. Yeah, uh, the so 2005 riots. Uh, so it was caused by two young men uh, fleeing with police control and that were killed. Uh, it, um, it's, so it's, uh, there were uh, a lot of riots also. And I think, I think that the riots in themselves are not that different. Maybe now there is more, uh, a lot of, uh, symbols of the states. Are, are targeted were targeted at the beginning by 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 people protesting uh like uh, city hall uh police station uh, school sometime also uh because school is you know represents also the, the oppression of the states and the false promises of of social equality uh and maybe there is more of that now but i think the the difference is more on, on the political reaction. Uh, in 2005, uh, all political parties, even from the far left, were, were like condemning the violence or, or, didn't, or didn't say anything. For instance, in 2005, uh, Lutouvrière uh, was against what was happening because they, were, they say, yeah, the, the rioters are burning. Uh, uh, worker worker cars, you know, so 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 so, so we're, we're against it, uh, which is crazy because you have like a political struggle going on, and uh, but I think right now what's changing is on the left, even small, it's really timid, but you 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 have a an amount of support for what is happening and for the struggle of the youth, and I think people uh, realize more uh what is happening in the project on a daily basis and that it is at the banlieue uh as you say uh uh uh, uh, uh places where, uh, where we park second class citizen and so maybe that's something that changed uh, uh since 2005 you know uh but the rights reaction and uh, is the same and 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 the reaction of the government is also a violent one, so there is not so many differences. And uh, I have one last question. Uh, a few years ago in the United States, we saw the death or the murder of George Floyd. After this uh, big uprise, um, also because of police violence, daily racism, etc., and where do you see parallels or differences to what ha was happening in there? I think there are a lot of, of parallels. Uh, uh, 
uh, the first one being that those those protests are are initiated by by the death the unjust death of of someone because of of police brutality because of 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 the systemic racism of police I think that this is a big parallel and it's not the first time that that we uh, in when George Floyd was killed uh, after COVID the first big demonstration in France was in Paris. It was a demonstration called by uh, um, the Adama Committee, uh, uh, so for Adama Traoré, and, and there were like almost a hundred thousand pe- people, persons that came uh, for the for, for the demonstration. And um, because what happened to George Floyd resonated with uh, a lot of people in France about what is the state of policing in France and and about the same criticism that we have to face in France. So I think there's a lot of similarity. Uh, and as for the difference, I don't know, it's it's, it's a bit early for, for me to, to be able to answer, but uh, I think the, the, the difference with what happened with Black Lives Matter is, is more on the political side. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, on the political side, it's it's um. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm moving. <laughs> so, so yeah, so yeah. Um, the difference we between Black Lives Matter and and what is happening right now. Uh, I think it's. I think it's. It may be that in France, uh, uh, the you have this possibility for unions for uh, the left to really like play a role in this movement, and not to leave uh, the people that are leading it alone. Uh, and and I feel that's what's happened uh, uh, with Black Lives Matter. You know, where well, there were no. Was a, where in the union had less political implication during the, the struggle, and I think that we can can we can build that, and and that is what what needs to be done in in the coming week. Week, you know, uh, I think that's that, that could be the main difference between the two. Okay, thank you very much. I am finished with my questions. If there's anything that you want to add, then. To... I, think, I, I think we covered a lot of ground. I, I don't see anything else. <laughs> okay. Then thanks for your time. I guess it was very interesting. And yeah. Okay. See you next time. <laughs> yeah.